Hello there YouTube, I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and thanks very much for joining me for another vlog. Now I missed one out last week just because there's been a whole bunch to catch up on and um, and so I wanted to obviously get a vlog out and let you guys know what I've been up to and what's coming up and all that sort of good stuff. So hopefully today we're going to get through a little bit. However, I do have a feeling it's not going to be a short one. So oh, battle up and here we go. Now then, I have made a whole bunch of notes and all that sort of good stuff, so I am going to be looking at this screen on and off. I do apologise for that. I should be professional in having it straight in front, but uh, I, I should probably get an auto cue thing that <laughs> goes up along there. But never mind. Now then, so... <laughs> catching up uh, if you've been watching the channel this week then you'll know that I've been catching up on a few reviews I think there's been about five out let me have a little look since the last vlog I've been trying my little hardest to get as much content out um, that's been a sort of a half decent quality content as well just not pushing out any old shit you know um, although you'd be surprised if you watch my uh, if you watch my stuff um, but uh, but yeah hopefully what have we got we've done the Terminus uh, Quantum Knight Quad Flex uh, J Well Odeon Onyx and uh, Goblin V3 so we've done quite a lot so there's uh, what is there five videos there but seven products covered overall so there's been a whole bunch to get involved there and it's, it's been a bit hectic it really has it really has um, now, I'm not going to go into kind of everything that's been going on. As I said in the last vlog, if you want to have a read up about why I have health issues and stuff, then uh, and you have a whole bunch of time and you can't sleep, then um, then go and check out vapingbiker.co.uk. There's a blog on there where I've written up a whole sort of thing about my ankylosing spondylitis, fibromyalgia, and a whole bunch of other good things that's been stopping me doing a whole bunch of stuff of late. And it's been a sucker. It's been a real... I've had more flare-ups this year than ever before and because of that we're changing a whole bunch of medication at the at the hospital so uh, I'm already on pretty kind of angry stuff and um, one of the things I want to make you guys aware of which is why I'm, I'm saying this now is whilst I've been trying to push out as much content as I have maybe it's not been absolutely every day which is a bit of a pain in the ass but tomorrow, which is going to be Monday, uh, there will probably not be a video because I'm going for my first infusion tomorrow. Uh, it's, a, it's a different drug, Ritter, Ritter, Ritter Coxib, or I don't know. Let me have a look. I took, I, I took a thing. Um, it's called Rituximab. There you go. So if you've, if you've, uh, if you've kind of got uh, any of the ailments I'm going to turn my phone off <laughs> if you've got any of the ailments that I've got then you might know what that is um, but it's a six hour infusion so I'm going to be hooked up to a machine for uh, for, for at least six hours tomorrow which is going to be a hoot so I imagine I'm not going to be in any fit state to do a, uh, a video when I get back tomorrow night so there won't be anything out tomorrow however I'm going to push hard to make sure that there is content out on Tuesday so then you know for the rest of the week there's going to be a hopefully a video a day and I'll go into what those videos are going to be in a little while now then happy Christmas to you um monday in hospital yeah t-shirt guy oh yeah i'm wearing a t-shirt this t-shirt now you know you if you've been watching for a little bit you may know that i went and did a youtube event and i was on a panel and all that sort of stuff in london at uh at what was it summer in the city or something um it was really good really enjoyed it really cool and there's a load of stalls and things and stuff and shit going on outside of the uh, of the of the kind of the the presentations and the and the talks and one of the things was this guy doing t-shirts and i got this one because i'm old and i thought that was cool uh what's, what's, there we go you can have a read of that look Whee! there we go I'm perfectly content with my stick. <laughs> it just tickled me. It really made me laugh. And I've not done my uh, Summer in the City video yet. Um, but uh, I wanted to give this guy a shout out. I bought this. Uh, but he does a whole bunch of cool designs. And this is Genki Gear. Now, I'll, I'll do a thing. Genki Gear shirts. And there's stuff going on there. And I think... Is that showing his contact? There you go at the bottom there. That's the dot com. Go and check that out. And he does a lot of this kind of these kind of media cartoon things, which you know I I think these kind of designs they they make me laugh. But there's a whole fuck ton of them, and not just not just this sort of stuff. But anyway, 
some people like to know what I like and that's what I like and uh, yes but uh, I do need to get some more more uh, vaping t-shirts someone mentioned a little while ago that because I wear a lot of black t-shirts and my chair is a lot higher um, sometimes there's not really a difference between the two and it makes me look like I'm doing that um, I get that totally agree with that need more t-shirts or I suppose I could just put a white t-shirt on the back of me instead that might be an idea let's have a go at that this week shall we? <laughs> um, so yes I'm also got oh vaping biker dot co self-promotion eh? you're getting it um, mugs go and get you go and get some mugs. there's a whole bunch of different designs on there but uh, I am going to be getting some more uh, of my vaping biker t-shirts and everything sorted out and uh, hopefully we're going to have a new design coming out on the site in the near future as well which I'm looking forward to but if you do want to suck on my face or a piston and mod then uh, you know go on there um now then let's have a little look um catching up on on some stuff that I've talked about in the past but I haven't I haven't uh, I haven't done of late let me have a little vape. There's a fly in here. We don't need that. Okay, so catching up on stuff. Uh, I was going to do an e-liquid mixing um, and coil tutorial, which I've been talking about for ages, and you've clearly not seen any content of either of those. So I wanted to just tell you about those. The e-liquid thing, a company, uh, a guy called Ashley from eliquidflavorconcentrates.co.uk sent me a bunch of flavor art um, uh, concentrates as well as um, there's Vapor Crew, Mobsters Mole and various other bits and bobs, um, which I had a go at making a few concentrates with or making a few juices, sorry. And I was just, I was having issues. I was having a really throaty hit. Um, and a few people, I've mentioned it in vlogs before, and a few people have mentioned it could be the fact that the nicotine was in VG as opposed to PG. Uh, it could be down to a whole bunch of things. It might also be down to the, the particular flavors of concentrates that I've gone to. So I've not caught up with that. And the reason is I've just not got around to buying some, um, some more Nick, but in uh, PG and also what I'm going to do is I've just had some some uh, empty mixing bottles delivered So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of juices with no nicotine in and see how we get on from there But uh, but yeah, I mean it's one of the good things I think with this is while making your own flavors is essentially just easy as you like um, when you do come up with issues which is always I'm always going to be the one that comes up with issues then uh, it's nice if I can find a way of overcoming those and then I can tell you all about it and let you know kind of what I've done to overcome that so it is something that I've thought about doing it is something that I still will be doing but it's it's you know it's just taking its little uh, taking its little sweet time to get there now I did part one of coil building for beginners and not so long back, well a fair while ago now, and that went down really, really well. And I really do want to follow that up with a part two. That's something that I've, I kind of go through a certain level of planning and then a whole bunch of other things get involved and, and, and uh, take me away from it. So I'm trying really hard to figure out time to get that done. Unfortunately, with uh, with my review queue the way it is at the moment, I'm not sure I'm going to get that done in the next few weeks. But it don't feel, don't sort of think that I've forgotten about it because I do want to follow up because I think it's absolutely important that I can give you some more information on coil building as kind of the next step. And one of the things about the last video was that even kind of people that have been building for a little while found a couple of hints and tips in there. So I want to be able to present something to you that's got a bit of everything. You know. You know, <laughs> right? What else has been going on? The uh, the last videos. Let's have a little look. See, so the Terminus RDA that was from Aria and um, got sent to me from Beyond Vape. That was actually a really funky little RDA. I quite enjoy using that one, uh, and I enjoyed that little review as well. That was good. The Smock Quantum 80 Watt and the Night Kit. That that was uh, that's something that came out five days ago. Yeah, that was that was kind of that was that was the thing, wasn't it? Um, some people are going to love them, some people aren't, in, and it's I, well, it's certainly not something that I would run out and go and buy. But I wouldn't be offended by having one in 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 my kind of backups. Does that make sense? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> 
Now then, the um, then came the Quad Flex kit from Aspire. Uh, Aspire have been just knocking it out of the park recently. From the Evo kit that I I reviewed a while ago through to the Quad Flex, and the also the new 1.8 coils for the Nautilus X. I think Nautilus have just pulled their shit, Nautilus, Aspire have just really pulled their shit together and they've got some really quality products now, which I think is brilliant because back in the day, was it two years ago nearly, um, they came out with the Atlantis, which was a groundbreaking sub-ohm tank and really kind of changed the way a lot of people vaped. And it, it was definitely the inspiration for a lot of tanks that followed. And then unfortunately, sort of since then, there seemed to be a little bit of a droop but, uh, but now it looks like they're coming back out with some really good products again. So I think that's really, really good. And in fact, what I've been doing recently is I've been using the uh, the little, uh, what was this called? NX75 mod from that Evo kit with the uh, with the Aspire Nautilus X with the new 1.8 coils in. And that's, this has been my little kind of downstairs watching the TV when I've not been kind of pushing myself to go through review gear, if you like, um, or just when I've been nipping out or doing something, uh, doing something social, uh, which doesn't really happen because I'm an antisocial bastard. Um, but a, a, a cracking 16.6 watts. And that's been really, really good. And it's been vaping the uh, the the high VG stuff. It's been wicking the high VG stuff really, really well in there at the minute. And I'll talk about them in a little while. Is one of Grim Green's lines uh, signature line, and I think it's absolutely cracking. And in that tank, is the the flavour is coming through like a mofo. And I guarantee, a year ago, I would not have said that I would have been going for a 1.8 coil at 16 watts and enjoying it, but. <laughs> <laughs> either I turned into a silly old wanker or it's uh, it's just uh, enjoying a different form of vaping which hopefully that's what it is <laughs> although I'm not ruling out choice number one now then uh, following up from the last vlog we I asked you guys your opinion on the sweet tooth stuff uh, which was from from the the indulgence guys and that was the gear with this marketing that had that little thing going on and it was fairly unanimous i mean there was a couple of posts saying just review it and then tell people they're a bunch of wankers anyway uh, but there was a lot of people that kind of said what I, I was saying anyway and kind of agreed with me in as much as there's no need to really give that a a spotlight with its current packaging now that information has been fed back to the indulgence people and uh, i'm yet to hear of a resolution on that or if anything's going to come but a lot of the comments that uh, in fact my video i believe was forwarded on to those guys and um with with a kind of a push on reading the comments that were under that video so hopefully something's going to have changed on that i'm sure it's not just me that's had that uh, information go back to them so i'm sure there's a bunch of other people as well but to let you know that uh, apparently that's being looked at if that should change then i certainly will look at those products but thank you very much for coming back and giving me your opinions on those it means a lot um I'm not going to go over the iJoy and Limitless stuff. I know that there's been discussed. I've talked about them in both the Lux review and the following vlog. And there has been recently a, more of a furore between the two of them having uh, some public fighting, which I think is always terribly professional for companies to do. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm not going to go into all of that. It is what it is. Uh, I've said my bit on on uh, the Lux mod and what was going on there. So the rest of it can uh, you can either find out for yourself or uh, just pretend it's not happening and forget all about it. <laughs> <laughs> which is exactly what I'm doing. But at the moment, I've got no intention of reviewing any of the other iJoy Limitless stuff until things kind of just, you know, clear themselves out to be a little bit more professional and, and you know, the way it should be. Do you know what I mean? Plus, I want to know exactly where the product's coming from. Um, so that is all the following up on the background stuff. We're at 14 minutes now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm going to stop recording now so we can go into the next section before this time's out is 16 minutes. I'm learning. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> now, hopefully I'm gonna be able to mix up the sound. <laughs> it's, I usually do a little clappy thing.
to make sure that everything uh, kind of uh, links up, but I forgot all about it then. Anyway, right, let's have a little look. Not reviewed yet. Things that I've talked about in previous vlogs. I've still got quite the big bastard review queue that's ever growing, which is why I'm really pushing forward as hard as I can. I'm also saying no to a lot of gear, but once again, I'll come to that in a bit. Um, so the Tesla 3. Now, I used the Tesla 3 in the Odeon review, I think, and uh, I still think this is a cracking little mod. It's a great uh, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It works like a little trooper. It's uh, it's a bit of a different squeeze to, uh, to get used to because it's not a clicky button. I would like the fire to be a clicky kind of affair. But uh, but that's not happened. But you know, nonetheless, I think it's a great little mod. I think it, the size of it is pretty good for a sort of a handheld, and it has been something where I've been able to take it out and have kind of a day while I've been out, and uh, and not had any issues with the with the battery running out. You know, I've still not got as far as. Did I spit them? I've still not got as far as um, as charging a phone up with any of that sort of stuff or anything along those lines, but uh, I will endeavour to do that. But it is in the queue, as is the uh, the uh, the little the dinky little Tesla Stealth Forty, which is the little tiny side by side but regulated and adjustable 40 watt device from those guys. And I still think this is an absolutely cracking little mod. Um, I know that some people have been having issues with its size. Um, however, I just hold it like that and, and fire it and I have no issue with that. That's I think the size on this works for me better than the previous stealth models because of that extra, the extra girth, the extra width to it gives it just a little bit more purchase and it's a little bit easier to hold. So I really like it for that reason. I think it's a great little mod. Um, granted, it's only got your little, what is it, 1300 milliamp hour battery in there. So if you're, if you're going to be knocking the ass off it, it's not going to last you all day. But nonetheless, you know, you can, you can charge it easily, which I think is, which is very important. Very important. Uh, but they, I haven't forgotten about them. They are there and I'm trying really, really hard to get into them. I know that a lot of the stuff that I've reviewed recently has been out for a little while, but uh, I've enjoyed the products. I think the products are good. Excuse me. So I've wanted to give them screen time. And just because, you know, they've been out a little bit doesn't mean to say that that uh, the, 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 the product isn't valid anymore, you know. So uh, that's why I'm, I'm happy catching up with stuff. Although I am trying to throw in some newer gear in there as well. Uh, but everything else does need a test. So I've got to I've got to make sure that things are tested properly and thoroughly before I can uh, I can do a video on them, as you would expect. Now then. Um, also mentions, I mentioned in the previous vlog that Advocen have done did this little AK60, little dinky mod, which I still, th <laughs> should I say this? I don't know. <laughs> I still think that uh, this kind of shape is, is, is maybe a little bit vibratory. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but anyway yeah the big the big issue i had with this was the wobbly door um it's not a vibrating door but the uh, the wobbly door this has been fed back to them i said that on the uh, on the last vlog and i hadn't had a response i have now had a response from them saying that that has gone back to the factory and that's something that they're trying to resolve and in the uh, in the short term i'm just checking the functionality of this at the moment whether that is going to change anything at all who the fuck knows? But um, it's uh, if they sorted this door out, I think this could be a funky little mod, even though it does make me think of adult toys. Um, <laughs> so I am uh, I am going through the, the the functionality of the mod, but it's awkward because that door just I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the feel of it. I don't like it. It's just no. Um, now then, what else is going on? Not reviewed yet. Still, we have the Hurricane Junior. Now, as I said before, this was something that I was unsure whether I was going to review or not. I bought it myself for my own reasons, if you like, for because I wanted a nice little tank just for shits and giggles. <laughs> I think now I've been using it a fair while, I think I am going to review it, and then I think I'm going to sell it. Um, 
so I do want to get I do want to get something out before I before I offload it if you like so um, yeah that, I think that that is it's not kind of high on my priority list at the moment although you know I don't want it to be one of these things that just hangs around forever so uh, I'm really going to try hard to get that out as soon as I possibly can as well as everything else <laughs> sorry about the hat but you know <laughs> look at it look at it Alan 9th of September mate that's when I'm getting a haircut look at the state of it it's shocking isn't it but uh, but that's why there's a hat there anyway <laughs> Alan no need for clippers yet my friend now then uh, am I too bright today am I too well unlikely I'm too bright but let me just turn that no that's the wrong way how's that is that better that looks like it might be a little bit better we'll do that um is the camera on the piss anyway um, <laughs> so yeah so we've got the hurricane junior to uh, to to do I am also still using the Freemax tank, the Freemax Star Pure Big Bastard thingy tank, 5mm, that fucker. Um, now, Mark Todd, Todd's Reviews, reviewed one of these a week or so ago. And if you're waiting for a review on one, go and check this out. Because I think I probably will give it a review purely because the ceramic coils in it are actually pretty good. The flavor's pretty good. Uh, it's a big fucking behemoth of a tank, but it's uh, it's you know it's not a bad vape experience at all. So until I can get mine out, go and check out Mr. Todd because uh, his has, his has done it, and quite frankly, he needs the extra views. Look at that! Going like a trooper. That is still on the Etna from Jules Vapes, the DNA 75 single battery affair, which I'm working, I'm still really, really enjoying. Um, I believe there's gonna be a very slight change in, uh, in in the manufacturing process of what he's doing with the 3D print on these. So uh, there will be a review forthcoming, absolutely. Uh, but uh, I still think the form factor on this is absolutely brilliant. I really, really do like it. It's it's one of the most comfortable mods I've got to, uh, to, to hold in my little handy pandy. And it goes like a trooper, 66.6 .6 watts on this uh, ceramic coil in this Freemax. It's a, it's a quality little tank, to be honest with you. It goes like a trooper. Now then, what else have we got? What else have we got? What else? What else have we got? We've got the V-God tank, which I talked about in the in the last vlog. I talked about the black one didn't come with pre-installed coils, but the stainless steel one did. I've had I've not even had a chance to look to see if that's if that's a thing or whether it's just for me. But uh, as far as it goes, it is very very similar to the other style of or the other tanks of this kind of ilk. Um, the airflow, I think, is one of the more restricted ones. But I guess that, that does help when it comes to, if you're looking for tricking and all that sort of stuff, you've got that, uh, you've got that slightly more restricted airflow, which is good for, the, for a sort of a cloud density and all that sort of good shit. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Got some O's. Just that didn't work, did it? Oh, hey. It's not happening. Honestly, I'm a I'm a, a V god when I'm not in front of the camera. Phenomenal jellyfish and fucking things and stuff. Windows open and there is no airflow. I am sweating. Apologies for going a bit shiny. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yes, the V God tank so far has performed as you would expect it and as you would hope it to. So I've not had any issues with it, which I think is good. <coughs> Excuse me. The only thing that I find slightly annoying is the size of the wick holes. I think that they could be considerably bigger because if you're putting three mil wicks in there, um, it's a very tight squeeze for that wick hole to go into. So uh, for that wick to go into rather. So I would like to have seen those wick holes being a bit bigger on the build deck for that one. Um, now, hopefully also, by the way, I'm putting things down on the desk. Can you hear this? Hopefully you're not hearing too much. I changed my desk. I don't know if you've seen it in the reviews, but I've had a different kind of wood 
background to the up close and personal bits and that's because I've changed my desk got this big fucking second hand oak dining table thing going on now which means that it's a lot denser and I've still got the microphone on a bit of foam so hopefully you headphone users out there aren't getting deafened anymore when I put stuff down onto the desk if so that's very cool <laughs> um <laughs> seems a bit excessive but you know <laughs> i do want to see about changing up my microphone setup at some point but uh but yeah to get like a zoom kind of recorder and then a road mic and all this sort of stuff it takes far more money than i've got at the moment so uh, i keep looking up at the time there um so yeah that'll probably change up and once i change that up then you'll get zero desk debonking and all that sort of malarkey but uh but uh yeah for the time being hopefully we've we've kind of calmed down the problem quite substantially anyway fingers crossed hey eh? um <clears throat> so hot it really is Now then, what else? Tesla, talked about Tesla. Um, we're moving through. We're cracking on through, boys and girls. We're cracking on through. Now then, we've got... We've got... Uh, coming up this week, I am going to try and do the Hurricane Junior. Um, I am going to try and do the V-God Tank, and I am going to try and do the Tesla. Now, I might put both Tesla mods in the same review, uh, just so you can, you can kind of see the pair of them. Um just because it's quicker i found recently that my imac is because i'm i'm recording everything in 1080p 60 frames per second um i'm using final cut pro on my as my as my editing software now um thanks to a very kind um chap recently i don't know if i can say his name or not so i don't i don't want to um basically i had a uh, something up for sale recently and in order to fund me paying for my license for my final cut pro and uh he he contributed he bought the thing and and um didn't want the thing in order to just uh, you know support an aspect of of the channel it wasn't a, he wasn't a, a trader or a retailer or a manufacturer or anything like that so there's no conflict of interest just a fucking kind gentleman so um yeah i mean i've i'm using all that sort of stuff but i uh my computer is it does run it's got a sort of an old ish graphics card in it so uh, you can't change out the graphics card on the imac so it's something where at some point in time i'm going to upgrade my computer but for the moment it takes forever to process a video especially if i add bits and pieces to it so it's a it's for the processing for the editing the rendering and all that sort of good shit it just takes forever so doing two videos is way more time consuming than doing one so hopefully i'll do, if i do both the tesla uh products in one video we can get that out in one day and that's not going to be any big drama so that's that's why i've been doubling up on stuff rather than doing separate videos so hopefully that clears that through it's rubbish for getting extra views but you know <laughs> um so yeah so the tes two tesla things are going to be coming up now also i want to uh, i want to do uh, the no pity which i've had for months and months and months the no pity from no name mods which is uh, sort of a high endy kind of dripper and i think it's absolutely glorious now you know i don't do high endy stuff and i mentioned this with the hurricane junior but a little bit now and then i think is it adds a little bit of spice and variety into the channel and it also kind of gives some people who have who aren't going to be buying anything like that an indication is you know do i think as a tattooed hoodlum cloud blower do i think that spending 100 quid on a tank is any better than spending 30 quid on a tank you know so it gives a balance and, and i don't think you can offer a balanced view unless you've had experience of both does that make sense so hopefully hopefully um by doing these things rather than turning people off it's going to give you kind of a a, a different um a different kind of review angle on it rather than than uh, someone maybe who, who kind of looks at the, a lot more posh stuff than i do um so yes yeah, so we've got that and I'll, I'll show you that in a second but one of the exciting things now i showed you a fair while ago that i had i got the rogue now you'll see that's getting patina to fuck now because i'm using it a lot i've cleaned it twice since i've had it um I thought there was battery rattling. Now, um, I've got the Velocity V2 on the top of here at the moment with a Trinity Tanks glass bell cap on it, just because I think it looks the tits. Um, 
Now, I've, so I got this from the Yorkshire Vapor. They gave it to me at Vape Fest for the purposes of review. And it's been something that I've been wanting to address because I think it's a really cracking little, little uh, mod. Now, one of the other great things, or one of the great things that's coming up, hopefully this week, I'm... In, uh, I'm <laughs> I'm trying to speak and can't think of words. I'm aiming to achieve Mech Week because we've got the Rogue, which is a little cracker. Um, let's have a little toot of this bad boy here. Look at that bad boy. Flavor on these glass caps is fucking brilliant. Um, one of the great things I like about this Rogue is the fact that if I take the button out at the moment, uh, Mr. Todd reviewed this a probably a month or two back now as well. Um, one of the great things I think about that I like about this is you, you don't know if it's going to focus. Is it going to focus or am I going to have to do the two hand? There we go. You see that red thing there? That is a uh, I think it's a polycarbonate spring. Can't can't remember off the top of my head. I'm having one of those days. But uh, yeah, it's something a little bit different. And one of the cool things that's happening, as you'll see in a minute, is that producers of mechs aren't just relying on kind of like the older style of just mech and going, right, well, we'll rebrand it and we'll put it out a fuck ton of money and where you go. There's actually development going on for mech users. It timed out. It timed out. I wasn't watching. Now, I was talking about the mechs. Now, I was saying that, um, that, that it's great to see some development because mechs, some people say, oh, mechs die and all this sort of stuff. No, they're not. They're still super popular and um, they're just not as popular or I think it, it's kind of the popularity is getting um, um, kind of diluted. That's the word. Diluted because of the, just the sheer volume of regulated products that are out there now. Um, but there are definite hardcore mech users and the, the mechs are brilliant. If you know what you're doing with batteries, you know what you're doing with uh, with your Ohm's law, with your coiling and all that sort of good stuff, then you can have a brilliant, brilliant vape from, from a, a mechanical device. And I fucking love them. But um, it has been brilliant to see that there's been a development, as I was just trying to say concisely and failed. Let's have a... I'm going to gather myself. Totally overdripped then. Totally overdripped. Anyway, so that's been the uh, that's been the rogue with that that different kind of spring in there, um, which I think is is really really cool. Now another thing I've had Evolution Vaping in the UK have sent me two other mechs along, and one of them is called a Broadside. Now the Broadside is a beast. Now the uh, the rogue is all brass. The Broadside is copper, and they're both heavy mofos. They really really are. And this one has also a different style of switch. I'm not going to take it apart now because I'll do that in the review. Um, you'll see that that's also patina to buggery because I've been using that. I've got the old X1 on the top of there at the moment um, because I think it, that's, it just looks a very cool setup. I, I, I'm so happy with the way these makes have been set up at the moment. Um, but yes, this has got a very different uh, button as well. And it kind of is something that is, is centered around an O-ring holding things together and stretching and all this sort of shit, um, which is really good. It's got a tiny, tiny throw on this. It really has. Look at that bad boy. Um, now I'm not doing any silly builds on these. I'm going at a 0.2 build. Um, but I'll talk about batteries in a second. Um, but yeah, I really like the fact that this is throwing out a really good vape. And once again, it's kind of, it's evolving the button. It's evolving, you know, how you're getting your, your, uh, your, uh, your experience, if you like. You know, it's not just relying on springs or magnets and all that good shit. But it goes like a fucking beast. It really does. Now then, the final mech we've got on there, there's a bunch of people that got totally into the VCM um, mechs that came out last year, I think it was. And we've got an, another one of these bad boys come out as well. This is the VMC, uh, VCM2. Um, once again, this one is copper. Um, the button is kind of a little bit more of what we're used to. Um, but once again, it's kind of it's a it's a it's a nice little setup. Um, 
the button in itself is kind of has got a really nice smooth movement to it um, it's dead easy to set up dead easy to worry about with battery rattle and all that sort of malarkey but uh, uh, it's just it's another it's a nice hard hit mod I've got the Toku Gower on top of there this look at this strip tip by the way um, big tips sent this one on to me since vape fest I took this harder oh ice cream van outside I took this uh, <laughs> can you hear that <laughs> because it's been so hot recently we've actually had a couple of ice creams from and they do that kind of big wafer cone thing with a big dollop of mr whippy ice cream and a couple of flakes mint sauce on top oh you bastard it's bloody lovely anyway yes i was saying about big tips um they came it was big tips wasn't it i'm sure it was i'm sure it was please tell me it was otherwise i've just made a complete ass of myself let me check let me check where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Away, oh, man. Really? I should be. I should be way more organised than I am now. Oh, come on! Come on! Where are you? Do you know what? I can't find it. I'm terribly sorry. No. Totally lost the email. What a knob. <laughs> what about if I search? Tip. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang you on a second. Bigs tips. There we go. Bigs tips. I knew I'd get there in the end. <laughs> so, yes. So, uh, yeah organized as ever so yeah i think that one just looks the tits and i think it looks uh it looks really good on the uh on the old vcm there and this is the the the, the drip tip size on this one was a little bit awkward so he measured it at vape fest uh then the guys had a had a well-deserved holiday and so i've got that bad boy in there but doesn't it look cool i think it looks nice anyway let's have a little vape on that as well shall we Marvellous, marvellous. Now, so far with these, I have done three times. I've done exactly the same build in every single one. Then I've just kind of done different builds just for shits and giggles. Um, and now I'm going to go back to doing same builds in every single one, just so I can have a really good, solid um, uh, sort of opinion on can I say which ones are going to be hardest hit? I don't know. I think with these, they're all hard hitting mechs. If that's what you're looking for, I think they're all hard hitters. Um, but they do work differently. So I'm really looking forward to doing all three of those. And I want to do them all in a week. Uh, so kind of you mech lovers out there, kind of get your, get your fill. Because I haven't done any mechs for a little while. Now, one of the things that I have been doing as well is I have been using these little puppies. These are the LG HD2Cs, which um, came out really well on the on battery mooches tests and they're also uh, batteries that um, I think have just been performing really really well on the in the in the mechs because I've been able to build down I, I have been able to build down a little bit lower when I fancied to but um, but you know it, it, I think they work out really well strong safe batteries the only place I know that does those at the moment is evolution vaping in the UK although they are available kind of all around the world I guess but I think battery mooch compared them to VTC fours they may be slightly better than the old Sony VTC four so um, I've been really happy using them and I think they're a really strong battery and I bought a, a ton of them just for the mech use so I can really kind of focus in on brand new batteries and uh, and kicking the ass off it really so yeah <laughs> don't tell anyone but i've been trying to be professional <laughs> no then i've lost my notes now <laughs> so yes so mech week should be fun i'm really looking forward to that it's going to be awesome now then i mentioned a little while ago about the uh the the no pity um s uh, uh, that I've got in here at the moment. That's actually the Gary Dibley drip tip that I've been using on my uh, on my um, Halcyon Squonker. But uh, but you'll see. Oh, look at this! Now then, I have to highlight. I'm not going all high end. I'm not. I promise. 
but look at this mod this is this is glorious this makes me so so happy um, this came to me from uh, Mike at abstract vapes I'm going to put the, all the links are, uh, down below in the description uh, but if you look on abstract vapes on uh, on Facebook uh, I don't think he's got a website for these as yet but this is just fucking glorious look at look at the look at the red and this is 6,000 year old bog oak um that's um stabilized and then hybrid with this kind of red kind of swirling lava pits of hell kind of thing which i think is fucking oh it's so nice it's got an sxj3 or f uh, sx350j board in here at the moment um the new mods that he's doing are using the v2 but i wasn't interested in getting the v2 i was quite happy with the v1 because it does exactly what i want this was not um coming to me for uh, for for a review as such although i think it's probably going to get one anyway it's a big chunky mod if you've been around for a while on my channel you know that i like big heavy mods this hits that it's a 26 650 um mike makes everything as far as i know as far as even with the with the battery cap and this has been something that has brightened me up no no end if you do if you are someone that read my blog you'll understand that i've been having a bit of a rough time with uh, with health things recently and i having something nice in the in the collection in my personal collection if you like just it kind of it, why we all like nice things you know and if something's your passion why the fuck not have something nice and for me this this hits things on the head i mean i've got a couple of things that i'm just i'm gloriously happy with um one of them being the um the the darwin evolver that eddie gave me which i think is fucking lovely that's a uh, that's a series mod which i think is great i've also got one of eddie's um uh, squonkers which is brilliant i've got a titan um, and this uh, this stacked 26650 tube. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? If you've been on the channel for a while, this uh, Bay City Vapors 26650 stacked tube with a Corrosive Creations um, patina job on it with my Vaping Biker logo going around the BCV logo, which is glorious. And those are products that I will just never, ever get rid of because they're, they're special. Not because... Um, because i mean you know you could go out and buy the the bcv tube and it's very affordable it's very good uh, you can go out and buy everything that i've got i haven't got anything so high end you can't go out and buy it it's not sort of uh, i don't think i've got any list stuff um i know that eddie with darwin kind of does things when he can and i'm sure that mike is going to be inundated with uh, with requests so i don't know how he's going to deal with with the amount that he's going to got going to get coming his way i imagine but um um you can kind of go out and get stuff and none of it's this thousand pound geppetto business or any of that malarkey um so i'm not going mega high end but like i say and i don't know why i feel i need to justify it to you guys but i think i just i just want to you know i want to share that i have something nice but i want you to be comfortable with the fact that i'm not going you know daft with things <laughs> does that make sense uh, uh, anyway this is uh fucking glorious <laughs> just a brilliant brilliant vape there is nothing wrong about any of this setup i love it i love it i love it i love it spoiler on the atomizer i love it spoiler on the mod i love it i love it i love it <laughs> but yes you're going to see this get used in a lot of reviews as well purely because the size of it means that i can use it with a whole bunch of the larger atomizers that we've got going on at the moment and um uh, yeah, it's just it's just a really nice mod to use. Anyway, you can go on and uh, price wise with these as well. With um, with what uh, with what Mike's doing, I believe that the SXJs with the the V2 boards are going to be around two hundred and sixty quid, or a starting price. I guess um, you. I, I don't know if. Excuse me. That can mean that you can 
improve on things and have I don't know have things played in Unicorn Puke if you want to I don't know but uh, but around 260 quid for the SXJ and 230 for the DNA 75 versions which I think for what you're getting with totally handmade mods that um, you're going to be one-offs essentially because no one else is going to have that exact kind of look to their mod then I think that that's actually pretty affordable when it comes to that area of the market you know um so yeah so those are going to be done i think that covers pretty much everything there um all in all i just 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 look at it one more time just look at it oh. Oh. fucking love it <laughs> but anyway yes it that um brightened me up no end <laughs> especially with what I've got to deal with tomorrow that's uh that's that just so my heart goes out don't no, my heart doesn't go my thanks goes out to Mike at abstract babes for that um now then what else have we got other stuff that's coming while we look on the time hey look 14 minutes I'm gonna catch it this time here we go right got it set it clapped it everyone's a winner now then <laughs> Um, what else has come in? Now we can look at vape mail shit, shall we? Let's have a little look at that. Should I do little sections? Oh, it's hot, isn't it? It's hot. Wait, oh. See, that should stick with the the brightness. It should, but it isn't. Um, now then, vape mail. Did I say about this Daedalus? This kit came to me from Grey Hayes. Now, Grey Hayes sent me this. This has been out for a little while now. Um, but essentially, it is a Clapton producing kit. Now, I am going to review it. I am going to review it because I think it's a fucking awesome. Um, I said the main, the main parts you get are this, which is essentially the drill, forward, back, and um, uh, speed control on it. You get this bit, which is the, the 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 kind of the Clapton feeder, and you get a whole bunch of other stuff as well, which is helpful if you're making um, kind of three, four core and various other bits and bobs. Um, there's a whole bunch of really useful useful stuff in here. Now, I don't know if the price is still still the ten pound off, but on Grey Haze at the moment, I think they were fifty nine ninety nine. They're now forty nine ninety nine. Now you're gonna find that. I, I did a, a, a little product from Vapes 3D, which was really useful, helpful clapped and coil builder, although it wasn't without its challenges, but it did do a really good job, especially if you have kind of dexterity issues with your fingers. Um, and this does that, but even better. Um, but you are paying a lot more money for it. So it's it's I found that the, the the product that I've got from it has been absolutely superb. I've currently been using it and trying to get involved with building alien wires because aliens have been my downfall. They've I've just always been shit at making alien coils. Um, so I'm working on, on getting better with those with practice. But uh, if you're making single core, dual core, uh, Clapton's, then something like that just makes it so, so easy. Uh, I don't know who it was. It was either Fagan or Mike Vapes that, uh, that had a look at it a while ago. I think they said the same. Um, Inky Vapor, he's recently got one. He says that uh, it's phenomenally awesome as well. And I just think it's just such a, such a cool thing to, to, to come out with. So when I do the review, there's going to be a fuck ton of people going, oh, well, I'm just going to make it with a drill. You don't need all that shit. The drill, drill and a swivel. That's all you need. And that's absolutely correct. That is all you need. But for those of us that may not be as dexterous as we'd like or, you know, just don't want to use a, a drill, it's an option and it comes out with some really good product as well. So I think they're really, really good. Really looking forward to doing that review. Um, would like to tie it in with my coil building one, but I don't think that's going to happen. So it's going to get its own one. Um, but no, I really fucking like it. I really like it. Now then. Watofo have sent a bunch of stuff through. I thought there was five products, but I've only got four here next to me because I'm terribly unprepared. Now, what we've got is the 25mm Serpent Mini, which looks like that. <laughs> uh, which is, you know, it's a Serpent Mini that's 25mm. And uh, airflow for days, it is wide open. 
when you want uh, when you want airflow on it. A uh, decent amount of capacity going on, but I think that'll probably get a review. I think it probably will. Um, as well, yeah, yeah. We've got the Serpent Sub Tank, which I've not uh, I've not tried as yet, um, but I'm dropping things. Uh, but it's essentially, you know, what we're used to with a whole bunch of them. Is that going to focus? There we go. But you've got a uh, you've got a coil in there rather than rather than uh, an RTA. Now, once again, Mr. Todd is on the ball, so he's reviewed one of these and he said that you can use Kanga coils in it, the uh, the OCC coils in it, which I think is probably going to be very useful. Whether that gets a review or not, I don't know. I think this is going to get a mention in a vlog once I've had a chance to use it, uh, just to let you know about it, because I think we all know kind of you know what a coiled tank is now you you unscrew a coil and you screw another coil in so i think it's probably going to be more relevant to talk about it rather than do a whole review um we've got the support v2 which i've got um currently uh in the box <laughs> um looks nothing like the support v1 um, not even tried it yet and um, so I've got no opinion on that whatsoever but uh, but that's 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 a that's an RDA and we've got the 25 mil um, troll which is just a big fucking troll really so we've got all those to worry about as well they came in in one big lump now I did send off a uh, a, a few to because I got had a few sort of duplicates so I sent a few off to a couple of uh, of chums um, so there will be more than one review coming out but I'm sure because it's for Tofo there will probably be a fuck ton of reviews out already because people would have had them for five minutes and so will have reviewed them after having them for five minutes. Oh, that just came back. Oh, I just got juice spunk in my eye. Um, <clears throat> now then, what else? Oh, now. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Holy fuck. <laughs> because I feel this product may make that happen. Now then, you may be aware, well, you're probably not aware, but the most popular video the most watched video on my channel is for the most obscene, absurd, crazy RDA that I've ever reviewed, which was the 40mm Mason RDA, which was just huge. But 40mm, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Fucking 40mm. Now then, the... Um, <laughs> Where is it? Now, I think I've had something like 250,000 views on that bad boy now, which is just ridiculous. I'm just having a little look for the figures while I'm talking to you. Here we go. 256,852 views on it. That's a lot of views. And it's it's crazy because when I reviewed it, I was I, I was I, I thought it was actually really bloody good. But there's no escape in the fact that it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Um, and and uh, I think there's either a lot of people that have a similar kind of outlook on things that I do and just like the 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 craziness and the and the just bonkersness of the whole thing. Um, but uh, but I know that they, they sold out in a lot of shops really, really quickly. A lot of people wanted them, whether it's a novelty thing or whatever, but it was actually a really good vape. I mean, I remember when I reviewed the uh, the 30 mil Big Buddha, that was that was a big fucking RDA, you know? And a lot of people went, well, that's mental. That's just, that's just crazy size. Um, well, yes, absolutely it was. But uh, But that was kind of the big beans at that point um but it actually came out with a really good flavor the flavor on it was really really quite good and you could just have clouds for days because you could build just bonkers stuff in there anyway going back to my point you may or may not have heard that um those crazy cats at um uh... <laughs> oh no why is my brain gone dead <laughs> no Where's what? <laughs> oh God, really, really? Have I turned into one of those? I have, I have. You know, it's too hot. Vapor gate. There we go. <laughs> 
Yosh at Vaporgate, who I think is quite frankly my favourite person to watch on YouTube. I just think I think he's brilliant. Um, but uh, but he 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 is kind of the producer of of these masons, which are just bonkers. But now they've got a thirty mil dump tank because they did a thirty mil um, mason RDA, and they've also got. Are you ready for this? Oh, look at the size of that. A 40 mil RD or RTA. A 40 mil tank, ladies and gentlemen. 40 mil. <laughs> That's millimetres wide. Um, how mental is that? That's great, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, it's phenomenal. I wish I had the box. Get on with the box. I'll put the box in a safe place. Oh, yeah, bastard. It's probably going to be right in front of my face, you know. Here it is. Bloody was as well. 40 mil, ladies and gentlemen. 40 mil dump tank and it's bonkers. Um, we've got a 30 mil build deck in it. The build deck is unlike anything else I've seen in a tank. It is just ridiculous size. I mean, the uh, the Modfather tank, there was a was a big fucking tank. The uh, the what was the other one? I had another big tank, the Boreas. That was that had a big capacity, but um, but they were both still reasonably small build decks. The build deck in this is thirty mil, which is just huge. You can literally put anything in here. Um, the airflow on it is is obscene. Uh, <laughs> it's just everything about this tank is excessive and I bloody love it. I can't tell you how much I think this is awesome. This is, um, I, th I think I've put in here, what have I got in here? I think I've got something like 12 wraps of 22 gauge in here, I think. Look at that! Look at it! <laughs> Which is mental! It's just crazy! And it will look rubbish on everything you own. But it will cloud for weeks! Um, it holds 17 millilitres of juice. 17! Milli one seven milliliters of juice. This is just a monster. There is nothing not crazy about this. It's a top fill. It's just everything about it is just crazy. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I really, really do like it because it's just so damn absurd. Now, um, it did take a little bit to get used to wicking because, I mean, it's best to put four mil ID coils in this, four mil IDs at least, because the wick holes in it are massive. So you need a bunch of cotton in there um, to really make sure that you don't have any leaking come out of the uh, the, the, the the juice flow. Um, and but once you get it, once you get it nailed in, it took me a couple of goes to get it nailed. But once I got it, my word, my word. Look at it. Flavour is as you would expect when you're producing that much vapour in your mouth hole. It's just bonkers. Um, it, oh, it's crazy. And I've got through. They sent me um, this uh, this Smurf um, juice as well. Is that going to go through there? Um, this was from Vaporgate also. Um, I've got through, you know, what's that, a third of that at least and um, that's 120 mil, so it's 30 mil of that gone, and <sighs> it's just, it's just ridiculous. If you want something obscene in your life, <laughs> then this is not a mouse to lung tank. Funnily enough, this is not 15 watts and where you go. Funnily enough, this is build the craziest coils you can think of, turn the watts up and just blow your head off. <laughs> the first time I built this, I nicked out on it within about I don't know, 10 minutes <laughs> because of just the sheer amount you get in there, which uh, <laughs> I've got a bit lightheaded now to be honest. 
But anyway, that came in, had to show you. It's phenomenal. It's in the review queue, and I think it's just amazing. <laughs> now then, what else? What else? I've lost my notes again. Uh, right, I think that covers pretty much everything that's come in. I've got a few things coming in from. I've got. Uh, I've got another atomizer and some juice coming from. Uh, from Beyond Vape in the States. I've got, um, I think I've got a couple more juices coming and I think I've got two more mods on the way. So we'll see what happens with those. Um, now, hopefully one of them's gonna be a squonker, hopefully, but we'll see what happens with that. 14 minutes are up again. God, this is taking us some time, isn't it? Let's have another go at swapping the cam. <coughs> Pardon. There we go, done, swapped, fixed. Press my little touchscreeny thing so hopefully it doesn't flash when it's trying to work out whether it's bright or not right <laughs> so that's a whole bunch of crazy done <laughs> it really is um so yes yeah, so i got a whole bunch of stuff coming in looking forward to that and um the 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 the, the stuff that's coming in is it kind of falls in line with the rest of the channel so that's all good now then juice wise uh russell from um the ice cream man has sent a uh, a bunch of juice which i've been trying out uh i don't know if he's got a website i haven't looked uh but i uh, i will find out possibly and tell you a little bit more i've not really had a chance to really get into them yet I think Russ also sent some juice to the Ideal Home Show guys, so they'll be able to test that out as well. Uh, but so far, I've got, I mean, I've got the uh, strawberry ice cream actually running in the uh, in the Velocity at the moment. Um, and I think it's, it's a very enjoyable little juice, to be honest with you. Um, there is a there was a raspberry ripple one which kind of is is reasonably close to a raspberry ripple ice cream which I thought was cool but uh, what I'm doing is I'm finding out if they work better at certain wattages and all that sort of shit. You know I said I over dripped on this at the start of the review. There is no need for me to put more juice in that. <laughs> <laughs> now the other thing is that um, I have been vaping the new Grim Green signature line. Um, the three uh, the three flavors from these are now being stocked in Herman Vapes. Now you've heard me mention Herman Vapes a few times because I really like the guys. Um, there's some great shops that I've been dealing with. I've got such such a great. Uh, opportunity doing what I do to find out some really brilliant retailers and everyone I've mentioned today has been absolutely spot-on um, about Herman Vapes once again are another one of those companies that I really enjoy dealing with I really like what they're doing I really like the kind of the the area of the industry that they're in with regards to they do all of the grim stuff all the Namaju stuff all of the I think they do things like the grim hexones and the hats and the merchandise and all that sort of stuff as well which is great to have over in the UK because I know a lot of you have asked me before where where I get so where I got my grim shirts and things like that because um, postage can be a bit of a bit of a knob uh, but I think and I can't remember if they're still doing it but Namba Juice were doing free postage to the UK at one point I don't know if they're still doing it but uh, but no it's great to see this in the UK Herman Vapes have now got a website which they didn't have before so head on over to hermanvapes.co.uk and uh, go and check out what they're doing they're also on Facebook as well my favorite in the grim line has actually been normal view and this has been this has been one that has kind of it's kind of given me a, a once again, don't know what the what the uh, actual profile of it is, so I could be completely fucking wrong. But um, for this one, I've kind of had a bit of a like a lemony cheesecakey kind of vibe going on, and I don't usually like that sort of thing. But I have been enjoying that a lot. In fact, I am getting through that at a rate of knots. So that's been going in, in a whole bunch of things, and I've actually been using it. I mentioned the Nautilus. I've been using that at, at 16 watts as the same as I've been doing it in like I, in a lot more higher power dripping as well. So it's been working really, really well. Can't find the fire button. And uh, yeah, lovely. I really like it. It's a bit, it's different to what I normally vape. So I've been enjoying that. So uh, yes, I think that's about that for the juices. Oh, is anyone else as knackered as I am after listening to me yabber on for probably about what well, my own 45 minutes so far, something like that? Um, right. Oh, God, no, I could be over an hour. 
Holy shit. Right, now then, um, some shout outs, YouTube messages, um, or not shout outs, but sort of mentions if you like. I noticed this week that I've got a fuck ton of messages that people have sent me via YouTube. Didn't know they were there. <laughs> so I'm really sorry if I've not replied to you, but didn't know they were there. So <laughs> for some reason, YouTube messaging has just gone past me altogether. So I'm terribly sorry about that. If you've asked me a question or something along those lines, I noticed there was a lot from, you know, from months and months ago. So I've uh, I've not been a miserable twat and ignored you. I've been a miserable twat that doesn't know how to use technology. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Um, Alan, you sent me a really good email today, uh, yesterday. Thank you very much. I know you said that I could read it out, but I've now put it somewhere that I can't find. Um, but uh, but I know it was very kind of you. You said some really nice things in it, so thank you very much. Uh, what else have we got? Um, there's been a fuck ton of more amazing comments under the videos. Thank you so, so much. There's been... Uh, there's been uh, you, you kind of watch a lot of YouTubers and there's a lot of negativity in the comments. And I'm so lucky with, with you guys that it's not often I get I get some. I mean, I do get some just saying, oh, you're a fat twat. And you go, all right, well, fair enough then, crack on. Um, but yeah, there's been, there's been a, there's not been really very much of that at all. So thank you very, very much for, um, for, for all of the positive comments. It's a brilliant little community of people that comment and it does seem that people are helping each other out with ideas and advice in the comments as well, which I think is brilliant. And I'd like to kind of inspire that as a little bit more where I can just, you know, there's no point in negativity. If there's, if there's someone that asks a question that I may have missed and you see it and you've got a good answer that's positive and it's helpful and all that sort of stuff wang an answer in there because why not help each other that's a good thing um we've also i've also had some really nice stuff on my vaping biker facebook page as well once again all these links are down below and so thank you very much for those also i really do appreciate it uh and it's just really inspiring especially once you if you're going through a little bit of a a period of of having a bit of a challenging time it's inspiring and it's helpful it's 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 just really nice and kind of warm and fuzzy to to get some really positive comments from you guys so thank you very much indeed um now, one thing that I do want to say, and it's kind of, I feel a bit of a wanker for it, but hopefully you understand my reasoning. I've had a few people send me emails to my info at vapingbiker.co.uk um, email address or via um, PMs through my Vaping Biker Facebook page or DMs or whatever on Twitter and Instagram and everything else. Uh, saying, oh, can you give a shout out to my shop? Well. I'd love to. It's been like shops and products and juice lines. I'd love to, but I don't. Re I feel uncomfortable doing it if I've not had experience of your shop or product or juice line or anything like that, because you know it's. I don't, it's not me not wanting to help out the community. It's more of kind of. I don't want to say. Oh, I don't know. Big shout out to Uncle Jim Bucks's antelope shop because they're really good and really knowledgeable when I don't know that they're really good and really knowledgeable. So I don't want to, you know, you might be the best antelope shop in the world, but until I know that, then I think it would be irresponsible to, to kind of push people in that direction. Does that make sense? So yeah, I mean, I, I hope it's not me being a wanker on those things. I just really want to kind of, I, I, I do my hardest to remain uh, well, remain with a high level of integrity on the channel. Um, I turn down a lot of reviews that may be kind of less favourable in their offerings. Or if someone asked me to try a juice line, I mean, for instance, the Ice Cream Man juice, I asked about, you know, where it's created to find out that it's an ISO 5 um, rated clean room with laminar flow cabinet and all this sort of good stuff. Um, and... I, I do make sure as much as I can do that when I when I give someone a shout out or something like that, it's a responsible thing, you know. So I want to try and try and maintain that as much as I can. Uh, I don't want my channel to be influenced, uh, irrespective of what some people may think, because you know of some of the products that I may get sent. I don't want people to think that my channel may be influenced by anything negative does that make sense so i try really really hard to uh, to to make sure that things are are uh, good and positive and it's a pain in the dick because when someone says oh we'll pay you to review this 
then it would be so nice to go, yeah, go on then, because I need a new computer. But, uh, but it doesn't happen, and you struggle on, and you make it happen, and you just you do you do what you do. Everybody has different kind of um, different ways of dealing with that sort of stuff, and that's absolutely fine. I'm not saying that I'm right and people are wrong, um, and other people may be wrong if if you know if they if someone gives a contribution to their channel or whatever else. That's perfectly fine. It's just for me and the way it sits with me personally. I want to maintain that I've had a knowledge of something or a product or uh, or or a shop or a manufacturer or something like that before I tell you guys that I think it's good because you know why the fuck not uh, it's a weird one it's a tough one to it's a tough one to kind of to to juggle I think but uh, but hopefully it kind of works out and you guys can see um, right on that note, my battery indicator is flashing, so I think we're going to sign off from there. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. This has been a long-ass vlog. Um, I'm going to vape my new favourite setup. Thank you very much, and... Uh, have it large!